Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow, and I am going to be talking about the D-latch. So, yes, this is for Yeep's wireheads. And if you're not a wirehead, you may not be interested in this. But I am going to explain as simply as I can what a D-latch is. Now, a D-latch, as far as I'm concerned, is memory. This is how you can save things in Yeeps. You can have it remember using the D-latch. The way the D-latch works, it has one input, okay, that's either high or low. It has an enable input that's either high or low, and it has an output. The output changes depending on whether the enable input is activated. And you're like, Rainbow, I'm lost already. Don't be. So let's press the switch. You can see it's active. Nothing changes. All right. While that's going on. However, if the enable input is on and I've got this timer to keep it on, once I press this, it will pass it through and it will continue to do that as long as the enable input is there. All right. Now, when the enable input stops, it stops. And you said, Rainbow, that's not memory. But actually, it is. Give me just a second to demonstrate. Well, There you go. So I caught it when the enable was still on before it ended, it was on and it will stay on at this point until it gets another input. Now, if I give it another input here and the enable is on, it will stay on until it sees that other input. All right. It's very simple and that is how it works. So the only time the D latch outputs, Okay, whatever input it's receiving is when the enable input is blue. All right, now let's take a look and see how this is useful. I have basically connected the same thing up three times. Now I have a smaller timer on here, all right, to extend this, but let's do this. Input, 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 input. Now, what happened that time? Why did the first two change and the last one not? It's because the enable input was off by the time I got here. So see what happens. And these will not change state unless the enable input is on. Now, once I enable this, it immediately sees these are off and it passes those through. Just like that. This is useful for so many things because you can have it remember the last state of something. You can literally copy binary numbers from one place to another. All right. And I am going to show you right now a very good example of that uh, that someone else built, but it's an awesome example of how D-latches work. Let's go to it. We're going to be demonstrating the D latch today. And as you can see, there's this whole big contraption here that these Yeeps have built. Now, they don't want me to call them out uh, for some reason, but I didn't build it. They did. And it's an awesome example of what the D latch can be used for. So that board over there is the one where they actually put what they want to show up on the first screen. So. All right. It's the button. Boom. Up, oh, and we've just got a cross. Now they're going to clear that off and then they're going to copy it from this screen to that screen. And it's using the D latches in the back. All right. So, right there, that is awesome. Now, you guys say that's not very exciting. Nope. But it is because they've taken this, they put it on there. And then they actually copied it to the set in the back, which is memory. Remember what we were talking about before, memory on the D-latch. This is the importance of that D-latch. You can use it for memory. Once you save it, it's there. So this is a great visual example of how it works, okay? Because they, they can put it on here, it saves in memory, and then they can transfer that memory to something else. 
Right now we're looking at a screen, but this could be numbers, it could be anything. This is awesome. All right, gentlemen, this is terrific. It's a great example of the D-latch. I appreciate your help with this. All right, there you go. All about the D-latch, everybody. Uh, I hope that was informative. I hope you know all about this thing now. It's very cool. And uh, I really do want to thank those Yeeps that helped out that contraption that they built, the copier, the photocopier, whatever we want to call that thing, was awesome. And I did not expect to actually find that being built already because it took them a long time to get there. But they did a great job, and it's a perfect demonstration of how useful that D-latch really is. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye. So now you just put any any old num set of thing into here, press that, yep. and it'll save. That's Yay! surprisingly simple. Or we could do a different method of saving it, but we can't get output though. Yeah, this method is arguably worse because it has no output. You put that in. I, 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 uh... <laughs> uh.